my loves and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm coming to you guys with this very dark purple smoky look and this is going to be my Valentine's Day look. A lot of people are doing a lot of the reds and more of the like gray, black and pink colors and I decided to do a nice purple. I've never done a purple smoky eye I don't think on my channel. So I hope you guys like this look as much as I do. I'm using the color pop color and this is the super shock shadow in lace and it is absolutely gorgeous and it packs on really really well so anyway i'm just going to get started into the look i'll see you guys later happy valentine's day bye just gonna pull my hair back gonna moisturize my lips with my friend's lip balm that she made and this is in coconut and it is so delicious like just smells so good. And I'm gonna go ahead and prime and moisturize my skin using my Emberlease Lots Creme Concentrate. That's about how much I use. And I focus it, of course, on the center part of my face. Don't mind this gash. Got into a fight with a kitty. He's pretty much an asshole. That's why that's his name. Now that I've let that sit on the skin for a few minutes, I'm going to go ahead and use my Charlotte Tilbury Wonder Glow. And this gives me a nice glow to the skin. I pretty much use it throughout the whole face. I don't mind. If you like, you can use it on the highest points of the face, which is where I start off. And then I work whatever product is left on the rest of the face. I'm going to take my Sigma F80 Kabuki brush and I'm going to be using the Kevin Kwan The Sensual Skin Fluid Foundation and this one is in SF06. You gotta shake it. Just take my finger because it's so liquidy and just place that all over the skin. This smells so good though. Alright, so I'm just going to start pressing that in with my Kabuki brush. I'm just going to go ahead and take one of my sponges, this one's not wet, and I'm just going to press this in. I'm going to go ahead and add some more and just kind of go over my problem spots. I'm going to go back in with the sponge and press this in. Pardon the rattling, it's my ring that's making all that rattling noise. It's always something. Normally I use my Tarte CC under eye corrector and this one is in light medium. Normally I use this before my foundation but I'll just take a little bit and place it on top of my foundation. Which is okay with me I guess. And then I'll use this as a base for my eyes as well. And it cancels out the darkness on my lids. I'm going to take my Maybelline Age Rewind, and this one's in the color Light, and I'm just going to take it under the eyes. And normally, I've lately I've been doing my eyes first, but for the sake of just doing it, as you can see, I'm kind of highlighting with it. Take a really wet sponge. This one is Precision, I think, and I'm going to go ahead and hit the center parts of the face. gonna go ahead and blend that in softly this this sponge is extremely soft it's not as bouncy as the um, beauty blender or the real techniques one but I like it it's all right but for five dollars I recommend the real technique ones because that's how much this one cost so we got to set that real quick I'm gonna take my Wayne Goss zero two brush which I love so much and it's freshly clean and I'm going to take my Cody Airspun, which is pressed. I press it myself. And I'm just going to pat this in. And place some of that on top of the lid. So that when I start putting my transition colors, it blends better. I'm going to go ahead and contour real quick. I'm going to be using my Too Faced Chocolate Milk Soleil. It smells so good. Look at that. Woo! And I'm going to take my NARS Eda brush. And just lightly 
start carving out where I want my contour. And then I'll push it up. Don't push down because it'll look like it's been dragged. You don't want it to look muddy. So you just push it up. Okay, so I'm going to take my Anastasia Beverly Hills Dip Brow Pomade, and this one's an ebony, and I always use it with the e.l.f. Ang small angle brush. It works best, and I'm going to slowly start carving out the bottom, like very lightly because I want it to look more natural, and then I'm going to go on top, and then this is where I create the arch. So as you can see, I kind of go fast, but I'm used to it. And I take whatever's left on the brush and lightly tap upwards. And that's pretty much it. So I'm going to take my NYX pencil, and this one is in Black Bean, and I'm going to place this all over my lid. So right now I'm going to start placing it on where the lash line is and just blend it with my finger. So I'm going to take a little bit more, place that on the lid, and then blend it. Now I'll go ahead and take a blending brush. This one's the Real Techniques oop, Angled Shadow Brush. And this one's from their Silver Collection. And I'm just going to take this and kind of blend it upward. This is a synthetic brush, so it'll be easy to clean. So I'm just kind of pushing up the black. Having some technical difficulties with my contact. I'm going to take Makeup Geek Cupcake eyeshadow and my Sonia Kashuk 109 brush and I'm gonna take this on the crease this is gonna be my transition shade this and another color so I'm gonna take the super shock shadow from Colourpop and this one's in the color lace it is a gorgeous gorgeous purple and I'm going to take a synthetic brush, and this one's my e.l.f. concealer brush. I think this brush works perfect for these kind of colors. And I'm going to take it, and I'm going to put it on my lids. And that's why we put that black down as a nice base for this beautiful color. I'm going to go back in with the Real Techniques brush that I used and I'm just going to buff this on the crease just to soften it up a little bit. We're going to add a transition again, but I kind of want to just soften that. And I'm going to go back in with the Sonia Kashuk brush and no additional product just to help blend out that on the crease real quick. I'll take another Sonia Kashuk brush and the shade Unexpected from Makeup Geek. This one is more of a muted purple. And I'm going to place that right on the crease, right on top of that cupcake color. I'm going to take the Real Techniques Brow Brush, which is a slanted brush, and go into my Lorac 2 palette and take the black shade there. And what I'm going to do is actually going to create a wing but we're gonna smoke it out. So as you can see there, I created a wing. Take my Sonia Kashuk brush, no additional product in it, and just start brushing this. You can take a smaller brush, but I find that this brush works just fine. I don't wanna keep dirtying brushes either. And I'm just pushing up the product. So it kinda smokes it out, but it gives me that wing. Go back in with that cupcake shade, which is the pinky colored one, and take a Sigma E35 brush and go back into the crease and add that right on top. Okay, so I'm going to take another Real Technique brush, and this one's the detailer brush, and I'm going to take Shima Shima from Makeup Geek as well, and I'm going to place this. You guessed it, as a highlight, because this just gives it that pow. Of 
For my underbrow highlight, I'm going to take Creme Brulee by Wet n Wild, which is one of my favorite underbrow highlights. I'm going to take a Coastal Sense brush. This one's just a really fluffy brush. Now, I'm just going to take this and bring it under the brow, and that's going to help soften that transition as well. I'm going to take a Real Techniques accent brush, and I use this one always for under the eye. I'm going to go back in with ColourPop Lace, and I'm going to take this right under the lash line. So I'm going to take my Jordana 12 hour made to last eyeliner and this one is, I think it's just black, black point. And I'm going to take this and do the waterline. And I'm also going to tight line. So I'm going to go ahead with the Maybelline Lash Sensational Mascara. My eyes are blurry right now, I can't see. I'm just going to take it and uh, you guys know the drill. Put your mascara on. I'm going to take some Demi Wispies. These are the Salon Poifect ones. Okay, so moving on to the face. I'm going to take my Hourglass Dim Infusion Blusher. And it's so gorgeous. And just brush it. And then bring it back. Just and I'm gonna take my Sigma tapered highlighter brush, my F35 brush, and my Mary Luminizer, and I pressed it back because it was broken. And I haven't used this in a while, so and yes. Oof. Yes. Take a little bit on the tip and just go on the nose with it and on the cupid's bow. Oh, I forgot how beautiful this is. Woo! Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and spray my face. And I'm going to use the Best Damn Beauty Facial Spray. I'm just going to shake this and just spray. Spray and stop talking. I'm going to take my Jordana Baby Berry Lip Liner. It's this really pretty pink. I use this for almost all my lipsticks. I'm pretty much filling in the lips as well. I'm going to be using ColourPop's lipstick. This one's a matte lippy and this one is in Brink. And as you can see, it's a really pretty pinky nude. Okay, my love, so this is the finished look. A nice purple smoky eye, perfect for Valentine's Day or any night out on the town. As you can see, I paired it up with a pink lip, which keeps the look soft yet smoky at the same time. You can add a lip gloss on top if you like. So anyway, I hope you guys like this video. Please thumbs up, don't forget to subscribe, and as always, I'll see you guys in my next video. Love you guys. Bye.